Camilla, I have heard that you are a cam girl and a sex worker. Is that true? Yes, Socrates. That is my profession. And do you enjoy your profession? Well, sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. I see. And do you think that your profession is ethical? Ethical? What do you mean by that? I mean, do you think that what you do is good or bad, right or wrong, virtuous or vicious? It depends on the clients and the circumstances. Well, let me ask you this. Do you believe in the gods? Yes, of course. I worship Aphrodite, the goddess of love and beauty. And do you think that Aphrodite approves of your profession? Well, yes. She is the patroness of all lovers and prostitutes. She blesses me with her gifts and favors. And do you think that all the gods approve of your profession? Well, I'm not sure. Some of them might not like it. Which ones? Well, maybe Hera, the goddess of marriage and fidelity. She might be jealous of me. And what about Zeus, the king of the gods? Do you think he approves of your profession? Well, I don't know. He is known for his many affairs and seductions. He might not mind it. But he is also known for his justice and wisdom. He might mind it. Maybe. But how can I know what the gods think? That is a good question. How can anyone know what the gods think? Do they speak to you directly? Do they send you signs or omens? Sometimes they do. But they are often ambiguous and hard to interpret. Do they have prophets or priests who reveal their will to you? Yes, they do. But they often disagree with each other and contradict themselves. So it seems that you have no clear way of knowing what the gods think about your profession. That's true. Then how can you say that your profession is ethical based on the gods' approval? Well, I can't. Then perhaps we should look for another criterion to judge your profession. Tell me, Camilla, do you follow the laws of the city? Yes, I do. I pay my taxes and obey the authorities. And do you think that the laws of the city are ethical? Well, maybe not all of them. Which ones are not? Well, some of them are unjust and oppressive. They favor the rich and powerful over the poor and weak. And what about the laws that regulate your profession? Are they just and fair? Well, not really. They are often harsh and discriminatory. They stigmatize me and my colleagues as immoral and shameful. They expose us to violence and abuse. They deny us our rights and dignity. So it seems that you have no clear way of knowing what the laws think about your profession either. That's true. Then how can you say that your profession is ethical based on the law's approval? Well, I can't. Then perhaps we should look for another criterion to judge your profession. Tell me, Camilla, do you follow your own conscience? Yes, I do. I try to do what I think is right for me and my clients. And do you think that your conscience is ethical? Well, yes. Why do you think so? Because it is based on my own experience and reason. It is based on my own values and goals. It is based on my own happiness and well-being. And do you think that your experience and reason are reliable sources of knowledge? Well, yes. Are they? Are you always sure that what you experience is true and what you reason is valid? Well, well, maybe not always. When are you not sure? I guess. Sometimes I make mistakes. Sometimes I misjudge situations or people. Sometimes I act on impulse or emotion. And what about your values and goals? Are they always consistent and coherent? Well, maybe, but not always. When are they not consistent and coherent? Like, sometimes I change my mind. Like, I have these conflicts and desires and interests. Sometimes I face dilemmas or have to make compromises. And what about your happiness and well-being? Are they always clear and attainable? Well, well, maybe not always. When are they not clear and attainable? Like sometimes I don't know. I don't know what makes me happy. Sometimes I don't know what is good for me. Sometimes I suffer or sacrifice for others. So it seems that you have no clear way of knowing what your conscience thinks about your profession either. Then how can you say that your profession is ethical based on your conscience's approval? Well, I can't. Then perhaps we should look for another criterion to judge your profession. Tell me, Camilla, do you follow the opinions of others? No, I don't. I don't care what others think of me or my profession. And do you think that the opinions of others are ethical? No, I don't. 
They are often ignorant and prejudiced. They are influenced by fear and envy. They're driven by greed and lust. Then why do you not care what they think of you or your profession? Because they are irrelevant and worthless. They have no authority or power over me. They have no knowledge or wisdom about me. Is that so? Are they really irrelevant and worthless? Yes, yes they are. Are they? Do they have no impact or influence on your life? Well, maybe some of them do. Which ones do? My family and friends, for example. They care about me and support me. They respect me and trust me. And do they approve of your profession? Some of them do, some don't. And how do you feel about their approval or disapproval? Well, I appreciate their approval and I regret their disapproval. Why do you appreciate their approval and regret their disapproval? Because I love them and value them. I want to please them, make them happy instead of hurting them. So it seems that you do care what some others think of you or your profession. Well, I suppose I do. Then how can you say that the opinions of others are irrelevant and worthless? I can't. Then perhaps we should look for another criterion to judge your profession. But wait, Camilla, we have run out of criteria. We have examined the gods, the laws, the conscience, and the opinions of others, and we have found none of them to be reliable or satisfactory guides for ethics. What shall we do then? How shall we determine whether your profession is ethical or not? I don't know. You tell me, Socrates. Alas, Camilla, I cannot tell you either, for I am as ignorant as you are. I only know that I know nothing. But perhaps there is a way to find out. Perhaps we can continue this dialogue another time and explore more questions and arguments together. Perhaps we can seek the truth with our own reason and evidence, without relying on external authorities or sources. Perhaps we can discover the essence of ethics, the nature of virtue, the meaning of happiness, the purpose of life. What do you say, Camilla? Will you join me in this quest for wisdom? That sounds reasonable, Socrates. I will join you.